In this video, I will discuss about accommodation access. Don't forget to attempt quizzes at the end of the video. For notes of this lecture, you can visit our website smartoptometryacademy.com. Let's see what is accommodation access. When eyes exert more accommodation than required is called accommodation access. In accommodation access, accommodative response is higher than the accommodative stimulus. Suppose at 40 cm, accommodative stimulus is 2.5 diopter. But in accommodation access, accommodative response will be more than 2.5 diopter. Accommodation access is more common in the condition where rays focus behind the retina like hyperopia, overcorrected myopia, undercorrected hyperopia. Now let's see what are the clinical features of accommodation access. Symptoms blurred distance vision more prominent after near work headache and eye strain after short period of reading difficulty focusing from far to near sensitivity to light these symptoms are more prominent towards the end of the day because at the beginning of the day we are energetic and by the time our body becomes tired and can't exert the extra accommodation now let's see what are the signs of accommodative access. 1. Amplitude of accommodation and near point of accommodation. Amplitude of accommodation will be high and near point of accommodation will be closer. 2. Monocular accommodative facility. In monocular accommodative facility, patient will facing difficulty in clearing plus lens. 3. Binocular accommodative facility. In binocular accommodative facility also, patient will face difficulty in clearing plus lens. 4. Positive relative accommodation. In positive relative accommodation, patient will accept more minors. It will be high. 5. Negative relative accommodation. In negative relative accommodation, patient will facing difficulty in clearing plus lens, so it will be low. 6. Monopolar estimated method. In monopolar estimated method, there will be lead of accommodation or low MEM value. Remember, in accommodation access, patient will have difficulty in clearing plus lens. Now you might be thinking, why does accommodative access have difficulty in clearing plus lens? Let's see in the next slide. Why plus lens difficulty in accommodation access? In accommodation access, near point of accommodation come closer. When a plus 1.5 diopter lens is introduced, it shifts the rays in front of the retina. To bring the rays on the retina, patient needs to relax 1.5 diopter of accommodation. But as patient has accommodation access, it can't relax the required amount of accommodation and make the image blur. Thus, in accommodative facility and negative relative accommodation, patient with accommodation access face difficulty to clear plus lens. Now, management plan for accommodation access. Non-strabismic binocular anomalies management plan divided into following categories. Let's see what are the protocol for accommodative access management. 1. Refractive correction. Refractive correction should always given in accommodative access patient. 2. Added plus lens. Added plus lens is not indicated in accommodation access. 3. Prism. No prism is indicated in any accommodative anomalies. 4. Occlusion therapy. No occlusion therapy is indicated in any accommodative anomalies. 5. Vision therapy. Vision therapy is primary treatment option for accommodative access patient. 6. Surgery. No surgery is indicated in any accommodative anomalies. So, overall, the management of accommodation access include 1. Refractive correction. 2. Vision therapy. Now let's see how to give correction in accommodation access patient. How to give refractive correction in accommodation access patient? Accommodation access mostly associated with hyperopia. In hyperopia, the total converging power of eyes is decreased and rays coming from infinity focus behind the retina. When rays focus behind the retina, accommodation gets stimulated and bring back the rays on the retina. But as accommodation has to work, more than the required to bring the rays on the retina, ultimately it ends up with accommodative access. 
to correct hyperopia we can follow maximum plus for maximum vision but remember in hyperopia i accommodates for both near and distance that means when we are doing refraction of a hyperopic patient accommodation is already activated so some amount of hyperopia is already corrected by accommodation when we are doing refraction suppose a patient is having plus 5 diopter of hyperopia but we may find plus 3 diopter of hyperopia in a refraction and plus 2 diopter may corrected by accommodation so when we will place a plus 3 diopter lens in the trial frame patient will read 6 by 6 line though the actual power is plus 5 diopter thus in accommodation access always better to do cycloplastic refraction or fogging for the final prescription In the next video I will discuss about accommodation in facility in details till then stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly